Welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today, we're going to make a beautiful chicken cacciatore, and we're going to do it in the Dutch oven. So y'all stay tuned. Okay, today we're going to be making a chicken cacciatore. This is one of the family favorites around here. Everybody loves it. Uh, today we're going to make a half batch. We're going to do it in the 8 inch camp made Dutch oven. You can do it. Uh... Okay, chicken cacciatore is a great, great dish. And I know it's a favorite of ours around here. I've never done it in the Dutch oven. We have done it in cast iron. If you want to see that video, I'm going to leave you a card right up there. Okay. So, but today we're going to use the little number eight. It's just, uh, just me and Mrs. Backwoods here to feed. So we're, if you want to do this for a full family size, you can use your 10 inch or your 12 inch and double this recipe. Guys, here's the ingredients you're going to need to make this simple chicken cacciatore. In this bag, I have deboned and chopped, uh, not chopped, but cut up some some uh, nice chicken thighs. I love chicken thighs with this dish. They have a little more fat on them and they stay nice and juicy. Here I have green olives. I've sliced those. Have uh, these, these are half cup containers by the way, so that's a half cup of sweet onion. So in this bowl I have I've had some sun-dried tomatoes. Uh, we put these up ourselves uh, a couple years ago and I'm reconstituting. I sliced them and I, we're reconstituting them in just a little warm water. Here I have a cup of sliced porcini mushrooms, two cloves of garlic, here we have some olive oil, two cups of chicken broth, some Italian seasoning, and a good uh, drinking uh, red wine, something that, that you would drink. Don't, uh, you, please don't use cooking wine. Okay, and the final ingredient, this is fire roasted diced uh, Hunt's tomatoes. The fire roasted ones are awesome. Uh, I would highly recommend using that, those for this dish. show you exactly what happens over here I got uh, some more I got some cowboy lump going in that in that chimney there I've been trying to brown this chicken and the onions oh, it just ain't happening charcoal is just not hot even though I got it really piled up under there full layer I tried opening up more holes for air to get in so forth and so on tried the lid just ain't cooking I believe the reason is, is our charcoal. So I leave my charcoal out here on the back porch. That's probably not the best of ideas. Um, you know, and I had that bag for quite a while. We just got done with like three days of influence from Hurricane Michael that just wiped out the panhandle. So that brings me to... Um, so we thought we should try to help out the folks over on the panhandle my fellow floridians so what we're doing for this week is a hundred percent of the proceeds that we receive from amazon for this week we're going to donate to the american red cross to help those people over in a panhandle that are now homeless because of hurricane michael 
So go check out that link down in the description box and in the very first comment below. You guys uh, hit that up and everything until a week from today, we will be donating all of our profits directly to the American Red Cross. And I want all you guys to remember that you don't have to buy something from our store for us to get a little advertising fee off of what you buy. You can go on our Amazon store, use that search bar at the top, click on there. You can buy toilet paper, uh, you could buy a Ferrari, and we'll still get a, a little fee off of that, off of that sale. And all that money is going to go directly to those poor folks over there, and in, in the uh, on the Gulf Coast. So what we did was we started some some cowboy lump got that going over here on the side we need to get some heat in this pot so to make that work we're going to go ahead and bring over the lodge four in one Come on. <clears throat> just nestle it down over those coals we'll try to spread them out evenly between those four quadrants and we'll go ahead and put the dutch oven back on there that'll give us a little more air room underneath and a lot more heat. So there you go, that's how to use the four in one as a trivet. Works great for your skillets too. Let's see how long it takes to get that uh, sizzling now. All right, so now that we got it up here and got it on this trivet, it's cooking along nice. We've got a nice fawn down on the bottom of the pot. I'll go ahead and add the rest of my onions and the garlic and just give them a little head start. You see the trick chicken's already um, almost shredding. we got a nice fawn that go a couple more minutes and then we'll deglaze it put in the rest of our ingredients. All right, so it's been a couple minutes. We're gonna go ahead and deglaze it. And what we're gonna use is the water from those sun-dried tomatoes. Just gonna, that's got a bunch of flavor in it. And we want it to reduce and intensify. It's also gonna start bringing a beautiful color into that sauce we're developing in the bottom from the bottom. So have your uh, chicken broth standing by too because it's only going to bring up so much. A little bit of our chicken broth in. And I'm scraping that fond off the bottom of my iron with the tool. Let's go in about, mix it up a little, go about a cup of the chicken broth. That's actually about three quarters of a cup. Now we'll add the rest of our ingredients. Sun-dried tomatoes, mushrooms, olives, a little bit of Italian seasoning. We got two more ingredients left, but I want this to get back up to a boil before we put in the wine and the tomatoes. So since this is a half recipe, this is gonna be half a can of diced tomatoes, more or less. Okay, going in with them first, and then we'll let them come up to a boil. And then we'll add our, our wine, and then this'll be simmering for a while. That's come up to a nice uh, bubble again, so let's go in. We're gonna go in about a, maybe a cup of red wine. That's a good red wine. All right, I'm gonna give it a quick stir in there. Man, does that smell good. 
Wish we could uh, post smells. All right, go ahead and put the lid on. We did shake the coals off the top. We don't need coals on the top anymore. We can probably just set that aside, keep an eye on it every once in a while, let that fire burn out. You guys made this dish before. You know I left out one of the, one of the uh, uh, you know, kind of important ingredients. That would be bell peppers. Uh, red and green bell peppers are awesome in this dish. I left them out because Mrs. Backwoods hates them. Okay, she has a real, one of the few things she won't eat. She'll eat squirrel, but she won't eat bell peppers. Go figure. So if you're like me and you have a, you know, a person in your family or one of your cooking for that doesn't like a particular ingredient, a lot of people doesn't like, don't like mushrooms, uh, just leave them out, you know, substitute for something else. It'll turn out perfect. I guarantee it. All right. So this is the, uh, since this is the camping Dutch oven version of this dish, we don't want to have to cook anything separately. You know, you want to be able to do everything in one pot. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add some uh, bow tie pasta right in there. And we're going to actually cook the pasta in the sauce. Now we may need a little bit more moisture, but the sauce is thickening up really nicely as those tomatoes break down. And I think we're going to be just fine. That way, this is a one pot meal. So what should it look like when it's done? Should look just like that. Wow. And that aroma when you take off that lid. Mm. So let's go ahead and plate this up. Beautiful dish up, backwards gourmet style. That unbelievable the smell from that. Look at that sauce. Wow. And a beautiful dish like this deserves real Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. Not that. Please guys, don't don't even think about using that stuff out of that craft shaker can that smells like puke to me. This is real Parmigiano Reggiano over the microplane. That's what a dish like this deserves. A little bit of greenery, just a few fresh out of the garden scallions right over the top. So you guys are always asking us to taste our food. I don't know why, but we'll give it a try. Mm. I tell you that chicken is just, it's melting your mouth, tender. The sauce, super, super rich and not too much tomato but the you know the flavors of everything come together really well so i'm gonna get that a little sip of that red wine go with that mm. so you can cook a beautiful dish just like this at your camp the trick is to prepare all of those ingredients ahead of time to make it a whole lot easier when you get there if you like what we're doing please hit that like button right down there to subscribe to our channel you can do it right here to see another great backwoods gourmet video it's going to be right up there and for our whole playlist of cooking with cast iron and dutch ovens it's going to be right up there we'll see you next time